Does God hear and answer my prayers? Will there be McDonald's in heaven? heaven? Will I be able what to about people who have never heard about Jesus? Is there only one way to God? Or is it called oh, I, I think I need to pester a pastor. Hey everybody, welcome to Pester a Pastor. I'm Claire and I am joined today by my friend Keith. So um, you are a pastor, but True. you're also a dad. True. You have four, four kids. Four kids, yeah, okay. they're old. They're old now. They don't feel like kids. Okay, but when they were little, mm. and probably still now, they've probably had some tough questions for you. Yeah, but I sent them to their mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> so can I ask you a question first? Sure. Okay, good. Because you were always asking the questions. I know. I want to. I don't like ask this questions. immediately. Right. So, what, Claire? What is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh my gosh, my favorite Taylor yeah. Swift song. The last Taylor Swift song that I listened to moments before getting in my car to drive to work today was "Mastermind" from her newest album, and it's a great one. I don't know. Will you sing it for us? I will not because I would not. Uh, do Taylor the discredit of me ruining mm, her song. You're so kind. Though I love her dearly. All right, I'm going to get us back on track, Keith. Okay. That's fun. I could talk about Taylor Swift for an entire episode, but we don't have time to do that. Okay, we let's have get so serious. many tough questions that kids have asked about faith in God. Are you ready? I'm ready. Lay one on me. Okay, here goes. Okay, <clears throat> here it is. <laughs> is God lonely and does he have friends? Uh, and the answer is no. God is not lonely and he's never been lonely. There is one God, but we believe the Bible teaches that God is a trinity, meaning there are three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And those three persons inside of one God have existed for all eternity. So God has never been lonely because he's always existed in a community. And that's part of why we want to have relationships with other people and why relationships are so important to us because we were created in God's image. So we were created to live inside of community with other people. So God is not lonely. He is always happy and uh, that's good news because imagine going to heaven and being with a God who is lonely like a needy God, that would kind of be boring, right? Yeah. But he is full of joy. He is in a relationship with himself and with other people. And so, no, we have a God who uh, knows how to be in community and is not lonely. Okay, well, that's really helpful. Now, I think maybe that question came from um, like this, this curiosity about, well, did God make people because he was lonely? Uh, yes, I agree. So if you think God is lonely, then he created human beings so he'd have a friend, right? Yeah. That's back to the nerd thing. Yeah, I can't make okay. friends, so then I I'm make my make own them. friends, yeah. right? And no, God <clears throat> didn't create us to fill a need. God doesn't yeah. have needs. Uh, whether it's lonely or any other yeah. need, God doesn't have those because he's God. He's eternal. He's perfect. So God created us not to meet his need, but instead for our good to display his glory. And so therefore we represent God in the world and we bring glory to God, not meet a need he has. Yeah. Okay, that is really helpful. Do you think you could sum that question up with one sentence? Is this like name that tune? Mm, kind of, <laughs> just like, can you boil it down? Whoa. Is God lonely? Does he need friends? No. No. <laughs> No, because Trinity. No, because God <laughs> has always existed in okay. a community. Hey, thank you so much for being here today, right. Keith. Thanks I for having me. I appreciate your help. See, we're friends. We're friends. <laughs> we're real friends. Hey, guys, tune in next time, and we will um, pester another pastor. Bye. Or the same pastor. <laughs>